All right, so uh, some months ago, probably some months more than I'm remembering properly, I had a conversation with uh, Kenny, Ken P. <clears throat> Not the uh, humble performance Kenny, but a, a Kenny that's a subscriber of mine. Um, and we were talking about cams. <clears throat> and the conversation led me just, you know, to spark my interest a little bit more. Because, you know, cams, guys, is something I don't talk about here. <clears throat> I only talked about it once, and I think it wasn't even really a good video. Uh, I think it was more like this is why I don't talk about it type of shit. But after having that conversation, it, it kind of made me curious. Like I said, I think I might have said this even recently. Like the only time I care about math is when it starts coming to numbers for engines, and I love shit like that. Um, so it's 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 piqued my interest, and I just I just kind of like fell away from it because it's stuff that I had had to devote some time to look into. So that's why I didn't talk about it, <clears throat> and I just haven't because I've just been busy with a whole bunch of shit. Last night I had a very restless night. Um, you know. Not to go too much into uh, off-topic shit, but me and my wife usually we work different schedules, so we don't usually sleep together except outside the weekends. Um, I've been home a lot more recently, waiting for the new job to start. So um, I I decided that uh, I was gonna stay in bed with my wife, you know, even though I couldn't fucking sleep. This led to me being in bed for four hours, sleepless. So after the first hour, I kind of tapped out and gave up, and I got my phone out and I started going over numbers and shit, <clears throat> and I came up with three videos I want to shoot today. And the reason why I'm doing these all as one shots and not back to back is for two reasons. One, longer videos don't tend to hold traffic and I want all the information to get out. And two, for searchability. I want these to have their own focal points that way when people search for these topics they're easier to find instead of finding one video that you have to dig through a whole lot of content. Um, so, <clears throat> getting into that, the one we're gonna talk about first is B18, B20 cam upgrades. <clears throat> also, uh, I wanna address something that I may have not covered properly too, uh, too much but I think I didn't cover it but I just I want to go back and touch on it real quick while I'm doing this <clears throat> so I think uh, when I did uh, the P75 PR uh, P8R head PR3 head uh, a long while back when I was talking about the B18 I said they're all the same and they all relatively are the same and I think I, I want to say that somebody pointed out in the comment section that there's a difference between the cams there is a difference between the cams um, <clears throat> but it's a very minuscule difference. The difference is so small that it's not noticeable. And the power difference you see between the B18A and the B is more due to the bolt-on accessories than the uh, cam difference themselves. But yes, there is a very tall, I mean a very small difference, and I think it's like 0.3 of a millimeter across the board between the highest and the smallest difference. It's very, very small. If you want to go, you can search these, you can search the d difference between the cam lifts and you'll see. <clears throat> I found it the easiest one was on uh while well, i was looking at brian crower like i went to their website and brian crower has a a list of their aftermarket cams the lift duration and they also have a list of the uh b18 a b18 b and b20 and it shows the lift duration there <clears throat> so anyway um i think I, I, I wanted to talk about real quick was the b18b ah oh, fucking that's the one i didn't sell it i didn't send so um I think Brian Crower has the cheapest drop-in cam replacement if you want to go like as their stage two cam if you search on eBay it's like $380 that's really good when you can look at the uh, you know the price of all the other cams uh, you're looking at like 450 plus for a stage one cam for the VTEX and shit so for the stage um, stage two which is the stage one I guess of NA for Brian Crower is 380 bucks <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat, man. I, I should have done all that before I started. You know, I, I didn't have the problem until I started talking a lot. You know, walking around the house quiet versus having a conversation is when you realize you have a problem. Sorry about that. So anyway, uh, so um, the whole idea was, or, or the reason why I'm doing this is because people have asked me multiple times, like, what's a good drop-in cam for um, right, for the B18A, B, and B20? And you can drop these in without replacing your valve train. Um, and okay, so the increase, the increase, what I can see on here, or... The, what the lift duration is, is uh, 1074 and 1049. I'm now from wherever, every place I've seen it, they always lift intake and then exhaust. So 1074 millimeters on the lift, 10.74 millimeters on the lift, and 10.49 millimeters on the, uh, on the ex for the intake, and then 10.49 millimeters on the exhaust. That is about a millimeter increase over the stock. <clears throat> and for those of you guys that saw me posted on the, Instagram last night when I was saying you know like expectations for increase of horsepower you uh, you can look at um, you look at the the stage ones I posted for b16 GSR the dog v tech ones and it's an increase of 10 to 15 horsepower that's for stage one drop-in no valve train replacement right so 
just from a drop-in cam replacement, you're looking at a millimeter increase across the board for your you know valve lift duration and about the 10 to 15 wheel horsepower increase. That's just from cams alone. Now, of course, they're telling you you intake manifold, throttle body, all that shit. If you if you put on the accessories, you're going to see more. But of course, you're going to see more because you would see more if you just did bolt-ons in general. So uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's the expectations to what to meet. Um, <clears throat> I know I probably covered this in the video when I was talking about the uh, B20 for Edgar, but to kind of like li lightly touch on it again, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that like the B18, if you look at B18 wheel horsepower, stock wheel horsepower, it's around 120, 125. I think he made 144, 145 horsepower from just the uh, piston, uh, high compression piston drop in, right? So if you're looking at a, a 25 horsepower jump or 20 to 25 horsepower jump from from, from the drop ins to the pistons. That just goes to show that what I've mentioned before that starting with the block is a good idea. Like if you want to do a quick turnaround for a quick power jump, uh, this of course this is much more helpful if you're building an engine yourself because if you're paying somebody then it's not very helpful at all to, to do a completely engine rebuild because it's going to cost you a lot more than dropping on some cams. But um, yeah, so if you're looking at a 10, a 10 to 15 wheel horsepower uh, increase for cams and a 20 to 25 horsepower increase on uh, on pistons, then what 30 or 30 to 40 horsepower increase for pistons and cams and not including bolt-ons that's not bad so if you're if you're interested in a build like that then uh yeah <clears throat> also i think uh these are one of these things where you can you can drop these in without using adjustable cam gears but if of course if you want to maximize the gains from this adjustable cam gears is a go-to that you'd want to use all right so um <clears throat> Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this. This is a really quick one. Uh, I'm going to talk on, talk, got some more cam talk coming after this, and I guess that I'll even make their own playlist because three videos is playlist worthy if you're trying to look for something like this. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, and peace.